What a night, and I'm so all over. I'm not picking up those scissors again. I cut my hair enough. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please feel at home. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Tell me something about yourself. I was born in Rittersburg, the village... You wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom now, would you? Key? Why, no, Herr Knight, I cannot say that I do. You wouldn't know anything about... According to Gerda, the panels outlined the Schattenjäger's initiation Not that the ceremony did anything for Gabriel. Or did it? These shelves display books on geography. This part of the library contains books on the occult, necromancy, witchcraft, demonology, lycanthropes. Research material any good Schattenjäger needs, Gabriel supposes. Although it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. It's a book on lycanthropes, shape shifters. The book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Supposedly, there's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history, including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. Gabriel wouldn't know where to begin with the This part of the library contains Although it probably isn't, there are many forms of vampirism. One is associated with a blood disorder and is not supernatural. Another, also non-supernatural, is based on a form of insanity. Of supernatural vampirism, there are also several varieties including inherited, communicative, and a vampirism used in black sorcery power drawing ritual. Then, too, there's always law school. Just by glancing at the spines, Gabriel can tell that this is one of the most priceless private collections he's ever seen. Talk about a bibliophile Shangri-La! These shelves display...
Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fans, the Dahomeys, and the terrible agris. The book, The Primal Ones by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures. These shelves, a title catches Gabriel's eye. Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Republic of Be the People's the book Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Re Gabriel wouldn't know Gabriel would Gabriel would Gabriel would Gabriel would not know where to begin with the religion books Gabriel would not Gabriel would Gabriel isn't interested in the science. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel wouldn't know which history book to read. Gabriel wouldn't know, although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts. Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. The book is entitled Maleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer, dated 1486. It's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. I'm not sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. Although it probably... It looks like a very old diary of the wife of Ritter Schottenjäger. Interesting. It seemed that her husband, one Freiling Ritter, had rescued this woman from the clutches of the Marquis de Sade himself. This family tree really goes way back. The written documents are fascinating, but Gabriel, although it probably won't shed any light on, the book is entitled Maleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer. Dated 1408. I'm not sure I'm really in a Although it, it looks interesting. This family. The written. Although it pro I'm not sure I'm. Although it looks. This family. Gabriel wouldn't. Gabriel does not. Gabriel. Gabriel does not. Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel does Just by glancing at the spines, Gabriel talk about a Biblia. These shelves contain books and journals, something to put. The Ritter Doc Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. The book is entitled Maleus Maleficarum The Witch Hammer. I'm not sure I'm Gabriel does Gabriel Although it, it This family tree Gabriel wouldn't know Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Rep Gabriel is The written document Although it The book I'm not sure Although this family 
the written all the I'm not sure Gabriel 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 all the this fan the archway is not closed Gabriel need Gabriel has no time to explore Richesburg. He's got pressing business inside. Just by glancing, talk about a. Just by talk. Gabriel does. Gabriel. Gabriel. Does, Gabriel. Does, although it probably the book is entitled Maleus Maleficarum, the Witch Hammer, dated 1486. It's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. I'm not sure. Gabriel would Gabriel wouldn't know. Gabriel wouldn't know where. Gabriel wouldn't. Gabriel would. Gabriel. Would, Gabriel wouldn't know where to start. Gabriel does not want to take that from the library. Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Report. Gabriel. Although it pro it's a book on life support fashion. Gab Gabriel 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 does Gabriel does not want the written document an ancient shield hangs on Gabriel does Gabriel can These shelves display books are titled Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fans, the Dahomeys, and the Terrible Agris. The book, The Primal One, by John Roots, provides insight into these fascinating cultures.
There are books on Gabriel. There are books on sociology in this part. Gabriel recognizes a type. Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful nomadic tribes of Northern Africa, certain tribes of the Southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed in a perpetual state of war and raiding. Some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back. See ancient roots of Africa by early days. These shells contain Gabriel per These shells con Gabriel peruses the type. These shells contain science books. Gabriel looks at the titles curiously. These shells con Gabriel peru These shells contain books Gabriel just by glance talk about it. Gabriel does not want Although it pro the book I'm not This is the Gabriel does Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Gabriel wouldn't know. Gabriel. Gabriel does. Gabriel would. Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful nomadic tribes of northern Africa, certain tribes of the southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed in a perpetual state of war and raiding. Some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back. See ancient roots of Africa by early days. 
Gabriel would not. Gabriel. These shadows contain his. Gabriel rec. Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exist in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. These shep Gabriel recognized these shep these she journ some these journals diary something to these shelves contain books on a title catch Gabriel takes down sun worshippers and scans it. One of the earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. There are books on Gabriel Recognition. There are books Gabriel Re There are Gabriel Recognition. Gabriel recognizes it. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the snake mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the results of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists have explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Gibber decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Gabriel opens ancient digs of Africa, the most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery. So clearly they are the results of profound and urgent spiritual Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists have explored the mound site, 
the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear and won't go near it. Gabriel looks at the picture again. The double ring snake mound in the People's Republic of Benin. Creepy, isn't it? Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? I know. We can use this credit card. Terrific! I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I get some coffee now?